Hmm. Hello guys. Uh, in this video, I will show you how to use uh, Amazon Linux uh, to on Windows operating system as a local operating system in VirtualBox. Earlier, I created a video uh, where uh, uh, I will be using VirtualBox uh, and how to set up that environment and everything. To ease that process a bit, uh, I will be using Vagrant in this tutorial. So Vagrant is kind of a wrapper on top of VirtualBox, where it will uh, handle all the uh, operating system images and everything as a separate repository or even in the local system and ease your process. So to understand it more detail, let me show you practically. So let me install Vagrant first. It's a HashiCorp tool, go to the downloads, based on your operating system. Uh, if you go to command prompt and type uh, echo uh, or just uh, echo percentage processor underscore architecture percentage not w it's a uh, e it's amd 60 Processor underscore architecture, so environment variable. Manage this one. So it will be downloading the file. So while it is being downloaded, I will show you uh, another file. This is called Vagrant image. Uh, Vagrant exe once it is launched to uh, Create an operating system in VirtualBox. It needed individual images. If you are installing normally, usually you used to get a VDA file or hard disk, or you will get an ISO file for OS installation, and you will use that one. But here we will directly use the Vagrant images. But Amazon Linux is not officially available directly for Vagrant, so we need to do some tweaking so that we can create our own local image. So for that, if you come to this Amazon Linux, this part. We post a phone today. Just go to this Amazon Linux section and you can see this VDA. Just click that, it will download the hard disk. It's about 1.2 GB. Another one is uh, uh, another file is the C file also in there. The same file that we downloaded, yeah. XFS. Mm. Series in checksum. No, no, is the checksum to confirm whether it is the same image we are using or not. This is sign in key. There is one more. Seed file also it is required. Um, build virtual box seed that contains cloud only data. Okay, it's being generated from this tool. Output similar DB. Let's see how it's. Like this. Prepare your seed data. We need to create an ISO file. With this particular format, they are providing sample C data. You can use that. Um, but let's see the vagrant image first. Mm. Okay, metadata use data they already provided. 
we need to see whether this uh, generate is uh, here. Okay, generate is here. Could not find uh, is not here on this machine. It's available on the X actually. So, but actually, they are just uh, creating an ISO file from this one. I will show you how to do that one. Let me install this MSI first. Okay, next, accept. Let it install. In the meanwhile, let me see this black hand file. This is the reference file we will be providing there. So that box file will be referring. And which will be creating. Hmm. Nothing much in this reference file. <coughs> Still installing. Let's look for this other windows. Still installing. Yeah. While it is being installed. Let me use a virtual box to generate that using an existing image. Uh, I, don't have to I just need a tool uh, to generate this. So let me download uh, Ultra ISO. Yeah, return is enough. Let me download the samples with that also. This installation is completed. Now if you open command prompt uh, and type background, you can see the latest model. Now this ultra ISO is also downloaded. This one will be used to edit ISO files, the CD dumpers. I don't need any letter. Launch ultra ISO. Continue to try. Let me file open. Downloads C data ISO. Yeah. Nothing just metadata and user data files. So, sudo in. So, coming to this uh, test conditions. So, this is the default that I provided. What I will do is, uh, I will delete these two files. But I'll clone this repository first, or I'll just, uh, or you can just uh, click on this download if you don't have it installed on your machine. Mm. 
Yes, and not further. Let me see the market has passed what is the details available in this one. So I'm SSH key. And metadata, just copy this to Data is not shown. Yes. Downloads. Yeah. Let's just print them. Let's move the question. I'll show this. Oh, instead of save as I just said that, but no problem. Uh, that file got modified. Just for it and uh, even kept the original backup file also. So now the next part. The ISO file is generated. Now go to virtual box. File mission new. Let's keep uh, some AM data. Dash is the uh, type should be Linux. Version is uh, Linux, other Linux 64 bit. Yeah. No. Other Linux that it will be 64 bit. Yeah, all these okay. Next, let me give some uh, one GB. Hmm. So, select an existing hard disk, go to add disks, and go to downloads. Still, it is wrong. So let me pass the video till it completes. The download is completed. Now go to let's go to this downloads Amazon Linux and click choose create. So now go to settings and go to the storage. Click on empty and select that C file which you choose a disk file. Not this is the old one we kept in downloads, right? Go to the C dot ISO. Yeah. Click OK. And now turn it on. Let me see. I, want, I forgot what is the network settings I got. Image name should be, I mean, username is uh, uh, VAC uh, root, password is VAC, right? So it's logged in. Now, what you will do is uh, go to devices, install guest editions. Unable to use it so because already that is provided. Mm. 
let me see whether I can change this in power and settings storage. No, while it is turned on, we cannot do that. So let me. <coughs> And it down. I don't know. Remove this. Yeah, let me keep it empty. As empty disk. And flip it down and down again. <coughs> The first option. Okay. Yeah, right. So first time this video is required, second time on one the settings are already updated on video folder. So now it's not required. Now the CD box is empty there, right? Now click on devices, install those options. That bit make that should make it available uh, uh, a virtual box uh, tools disk image in place of this start seat size demo. Now let's uh, update this OS first. No packages marked for update. It's not required. Sudo yum icon y install kernel headers. I'm just following the instructions I provided. This is getting installed just to fix the shared folder issue. Sometimes some issue, some forum members got and they added this command. Mm. To mount this one more, uh, mount iPhone R, iPhone 2, ISO 9660, do CD1. Um, extensions and everything. Still in here. No virtual box is there. We box Linux editions. Sudo is not required anyway because I am uh, using two tools from it. Make it complete. Let's see the next steps. In the okay. Let's wait till it completes. Yeah, now it's completed. <laughs> now ignore any warning messages. And they are telling to ignore uh, 
some taint message also if you check that if no tainted kernel message but it seems we didn't get that one even if you get that just ignore that system ctl ebox at dot service okay now some post processing export its size h i s t s i z z d equal to zero yum clean all r m minus r m bar s e yum just type all the commands optimize the area of the virtual hard disk yeah the process, the process is completed now uh, so now let me shut down this machine and create image from yeah it's created now what is the image amz is the voice right so let me open command prompt and uh, uh, let me create a folder here in jetten amazon linux so now from this folder i am typing vagrant init next backend package hyphen hyphen base name written is the voice name created that one will be outputted as a box file of a backend image file So now you can see it's prepared. I'm not okay for you. Before that, uh, they already created an image for the backend file. Let me cross it how it is different from that. Backend mm. file. Right. <coughs> you know this 
we need to see the comment at the so package actually. Notepad plus plus right hand side. Yeah. This is just unit uh, without any configuration. What are the settings here? Only config.vm not is equal to base, nothing else. Remaining settings are like this. So what I can do is uh, the box is created. Ignore this image file. This one, let me copy this. What is the image? Amazon Linux 2. The box is also here. And the location is Amazon Linux 2, the current location. Else, nothing else. So now let me remove this so that I can import from the box. Command can let me open it as, as another name CD. Yeah. Now let me type vagrant up. It should automatically Let me see that and see whether my file is added on it. Background box list. Ubuntu is there. This is not there. So let me add this. Copy as path. So I can box add. I can open that. Let's see the syntax. Add. New mark path. Okay. I can box add I can open name. Let me keep the name as a Amazon Linux two as. See, it got downloaded. So the file path, it should seems we need to keep like this. But anyway, we added that image, right? So you, I don't require this box file or this background file now. So this URL you can remove because it's already added. Background box list should show this image. Amazon Linux. No, vagrant up. It is vagrant file kept. Should automatically bring up the machine.
Mm -hmm. So a new generated key pair will be getting generated. Okay. Now, as the image is already there, you can spin up multiple virtual machines from the same image. A VM is created. From this folder where this vagrant file is there, from there you need to create vagrant up. Then it will run. Once I click that, now you can create vagrant SSH. Then it will connect to the machine. You see? Yeah. So this way you can create the image. Um, thanks for watching this video. Mm -hmm. Hope you like it and I will uh, uh, you can use a format like this on this right hand side. File and the full part of it. If you didn't add that image with wrapper and box head, you can add like this also. I can list on this URL and the extra two commands there. Now, once it is done, now you can connect it and you can type a wrapper and halt. To stop, turn on the, to shut down that virtual machine, background hard. See, it got turned off. If you want to delete, you can simply type background destroy. Yes. Got deleted. Okay. And start the list. It's not created. These are the list of commands I used. Vagrant hard is used for shutdown. Vagrant hard is used for uh, Deleting the VM, apparent VM is used to create the VM. And this one is to list the images. So, background box list to list the images. So, I will add it in the next command. Yeah. So I will uh, add these commands also in the description uh, and uh, the URL, this particular URL. Constraint. And, uh, and so of course, uh, this download link of Vagrant. And this ultra is a download link. Windows. Now this ultra is not required. You can simply uninstall that. New age style version. You don't require after that. Or even it won't work after some time also. So thanks for watching this video.